Hey guys, uh, Jack, as you know, uh, he had a very large beard, um, and then he shaved it, which influenced Dan Keys to grow a beard, and now he has just shaved, which means, naturally, it's my turn to grow a beard. I mean, we're Canadian. I have no choice. I have no choice! Also, it's very cold outside. It snowed recently, and it doesn't do that a lot in Vancouver. Um, okay, yeah, tech news. After rumors last week, it has now been confirmed that Pebble has been sold to Fitbit. Fitbit bought Pebble for around $40 million, which is a lot less than the $740 million they were offered from Citizen in 2015, and even the $73 million from Intel in early 2016. On their blog and Kickstarter page, Pebble outlined their next steps, indicating that they're getting out the hardware business and are seizing production on all their current products. Fitbit products will feature Pebble assets in some capacity. Pebble will be issuing refunds for any backers of the Pebble 2 who haven't gotten their watches yet. If you do currently have a Pebble 2, there won't be any updates and stuff like that, so enjoy it while it lasts. Pebble had raised around $43 million from their Kickstarter campaign since 2012, and the fans are feeling this move right in the feels, in a bad way. Uh, just as crowdfunding was gaining legitimacy, this happens. We tried so hard and have gone so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. And some people are getting real giddy over some rumors that Intel is licensing AMD Radeon technology for its iGPUs. This info, as true or not true as it may or may not be, uh, comes from Kyle Bennett, a longtime editor of enthusiast hardware site hardocp.com. In a post on the site's forum, he wrote, The licensing deal between AMD and Intel is signed and done for putting AMD GPU tech into Intel's iGPU. All right, well, not too much to interpret there. Actually, the possibility of something like this has been circulating for months, as Intel just finished paying NVIDIA the $1.5 billion they owe them over patent infringement, dating back to 2011. Since NVIDIA has expanded their reach, Intel considers them competition, perhaps influencing a deal like this with AMD. Kevin Cruel, an analyst with Tyrius Research, told PC World, the way I'd rationalize AMD's licensing of Radeon GPU tech to Intel is that Radeon would become the dominant graphics architecture of the PC market and outflank NVIDIA in graphics. Hmm, interesting. Could it be? Of course, at this point, these are just rumors and a few different theories have been sparked up about what this could mean, but uh, let us know uh, if you have any theories of your own. And Nintendo Switch will have GameCube Virtual Console support, marking the first time GameCube games can be sold digitally. The news comes from Eurogamer and confirmed from three unnamed sources apparently, but Eurogame is trustworthy with this stuff, guys. Currently, the GameCube titles include Super Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and Luigi's Mansion. GameCube's Animal Crossing is currently being tested, a game that featured more than a dozen NES classic games that you can play within the game. Game, GameCube, Game, Game Nintendo. Uh, if you uh, buy any uh, Virtual Console, games on prior consoles, you have to re-download the games on Switch at an upgrade fee, so that kind of sucks, but uh, anyways, playing Super Smash Bros. with your friends on a bus or something, that could be pretty good fun. It's time for... Thank you, Events, for turning me into a uh, South Park Canadian. Uh, if you would like to submit a shorter news stories clip, then send me a tweet. Magic Leap posted a job listing on Glassdoor for a field engineer, describing work for the candidate as collecting data for Magic Leap devices in real-world locations. The job is based in Florida, so if you're around there, Magic Leap is coming to a headset near you, or on you, and several other people. Overwatch is kicking off its holiday event on December 13th. Not really a lot of info about it, but it could be fun to play Reinhardt and Roadhog dressed up as Santa Claus. AMD teased its Radeon software Crimson Relive Edition in a meaningless second video, but did say the first driver will be available tomorrow. WCCF Tech also leaked slides, apparently from AMD's presentation tomorrow, so take a look if you want, but we'll probably talk about this with more detail tomorrow. NVIDIA posted a blog saying its NVIDIA Quadro P6000 was capable of running four VR simulations at once, but actually it can only run one, but on the same server. Well, that's far less impressive. 
And SpaceX still needs more time to learn what went wrong with their Falcon 9 crash in September. They were originally scheduled to return to flight on December 16th, but it looks like that launch into orbit for Iridium Communications will be delayed until January. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Put a glide in your stride, a dip in your hip, and come on up to the mothership. So. Hey guys, just a reminder that we are live streaming a PC build tomorrow at 6 p.m. on Twitch at twitch.tv slash NCIXofficial. We'll also have some follow-up streams for benchmarking the system and for checking out the gaming performance on each following Thursday. Keys and Jack will be on stream talking to you guys while one of the assembly techs from NCIX PC puts it together. But there's more! We will be giving away three Intel Core i7-6800K CPUs. Yes, that's one per stream. But I can't give away all the details, so make sure you tune in to twitch.tv, twitch.tv, slash NCIX official tomorrow at 6 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time, as well as on the 15th and 22nd for a chance to win. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for uh, previous videos and uh, check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. All right, um, I'm gonna go now, so.